Street Fighter for me, you can tell a lot about a person how they play Street Fighter, just like you could tell a lot about how they play sports. But it's it's more of a one-on-one -on -one competition reading your opponent as opposed to just you know executing the game. That's what makes fighting games different than any other game. Just being very quick on your feet and being able to read your opponent. It's it's completely different. It's all about nerves and it's all about execution. And so it's really more of uh, I mean, by the nature of the game, uh, an individual contest and just a test of wills. How well can you read your other opponent and then execute? Uh, my name is Reginald Jeffrey. I'm the owner and head of Versus Gameplay, and I run local uh, video game tournaments here in the DFW area. All right, my name is Markel Lee. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm 26. Currently, I mean, I'm the marketing executive for um, Versus Gameplay. Uh, Absolute Battle has been around actually for six years, even though this is Absolute Battle 5. Uh, we actually skipped one year. Uh, it was founded by myself, uh, a guy named Tony Wu, and another guy named uh, John Waco. And we actually came together, they came to one of my tournaments, one of my smaller tournaments, and he said, hey, we really want to put DFW or Texas on the map. There have been tournaments here before, but we really wanted to do something where we could get the others, the rest of the nation to come down to Texas and, and, and see what kind of players and fighters that we have here. Basically, Street Fighter is definitely the game. It's the game that most other fighting games, most other genres, they want to be and have the success that Street Fighter has accomplished. It's basically a contest between two players and not just about executing the moves, but learning the mindset of the other player and trying to overcome that mindset within the game. I'm very happy for actually the way that gaming has been on a rise. I mean, you see it a lot more, a lot more people are getting to understand it, but the biggest problem is that most people don't understand. And when you don't understand the game or you don't understand anything, it always becomes extra foreign. So most people shun it, they don't want to give it the time, the opportunity. And if they did, they'll understand the hard time, the dedication, the, the actual drive that most of these players have for their respective games. Uh, I, th I think it's great for games that uh, ESPN and those kind of other entities are looking at games, but uh, me personally, I, I think it would be better for games to, to kind of separate themselves. I think, it's, I think they'll go hand in hand and they'll work with each other, sports and, and gaming, competitive gaming, but I like to see competitive gaming have their own entity. I mean, on a secondary note, these games get you more you know, involved with the community, the idea, the, the thought, the story. Um, better than movies, you know? And it's just something that you have to experience yourself. Yes, sitting outside the window looking in, you won't fully understand what's going on until you actually put the control in your hand and actually learn how to basically function. And once you get to that mode, once you get to that point, then you'll have a more of a depth of exactly why people get involved in these games and why they're so emotionally attached to what they do. She's just gonna walk in. A gift for Mimi, whatever it's called. Mimi. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> it said, uh, it said, uh, when the doctor asked what's your blood type? Type R. Type R. <laughs> Stupid. Hey guys, I'm Andre West. I go by Chaotix on Xbox Live. I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I'm 24 years old. My name is Jonathan, and I go by Integra on Xbox Live. I am from Dallas, Texas, and I'm 26 years old. I think, what was that, like 2011? Um, I think I met him. He was just a, a DP mashing, step kick, spam and scrub. But um, yeah, it's been a couple years now, and I've been really impressed in watching him grow. I've known Andre for about two years now. Um, he's helped me improve, and I've you know gotten a lot better playing him. Um, he's actually been my roommate for the past year. Absolute Battle is one of the premier uh, tournaments of Texas, and it's been going on ever since November of 2009. Um, I've been to every one starting in 2010, and um, I've been placing better and better after each one. Absolute Battle is one of the two premier Texas tournaments, um, the other being Texas Showdown. Um, I, this will be my third one. 
Um, and each time I've actually gotten higher, place higher each time. So hopefully I will win this one. So pretty much whenever uh, I plan on attending a tournament, um, I really try to start practicing really hard about two weeks before it. Um, I go into training mode every day, practice execution, um, do all my combos on both sides 10 times in a row. I usually like to um, go into training mode and practice combos. Um, you know, make sure I don't, I don't want to lose, you know, to something that I could have prevented. Um, so I make sure practice combos, practice setups, um, any, any little thing that I can control that's not um, affected by what's going on in the actual game. Uh, practice all my safe jump setups, all the option selects, everything that I'm probably going to need in the tournament. Stuff that you can't afford to mess up. Aside from that, we have a lot of local sessions when a bunch of us are going to tournaments. So we try to make sure we get that good, long matchup experience, lots of long sets with each other, record that and go over those. Hey, uh, my name is Joseph Love, I'm 25, and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Well, Street Fighter, uh, in general, is a fighting game, uh, generally 2D fighting game, made by Capcom. Um, Street Fighter, to me, is a game where strategy and anticipation, reaction, all come together in one culmination, and using your character, you utilize all of those aspects to try to defeat your opponent. Well, I've been playing fighting games uh, casually pretty much my entire life, ever since I was about five, six years old. Um, I got into it professionally about five years ago. I uh, started playing online through uh, PSN, Xbox Live, on Street Fighter 4. Uh, found the local community, and um, comp competitive-wise, just decided to get up in there and play my best and meet new people and try to beat as many people as I could. I do see the stigma of uh, of how people view us as, you know, kind of like an underground scene, uh, a scene where, you know, our game isn't as important as, you know, say sports, uh, NFL, NBA, stuff like that, especially with the Dota and uh, ESPN thing. I can definitely see why people will be turned off that. But I think if people look deep down more inside of our community and how we interact with each other, how how hard it is to get at a decent level at this game and get to an expert level at this game and realize the, the thought process it takes, the strategy it takes, the you know, the reactions it takes. It, it I think people would if they could understand the that feeling of going through the game, I think they would understand more of, of why and we're on the cusp of becoming a competitive gaming force that honestly could rival like big big leagues like that um my outlook on this absolute battle uh i feel like i can do very strongly um i feel like i'm a very strong player uh if i put time to practice and the thought process into doing well at the tournament i feel like i will do well um there's a lot of big players coming a lot of players i've been itching to play a lot of rivalries and etc but um i feel like at my best level that i can take all of them and definitely can take the tournament My name is Jonathan Othone. Uh, I go by Solid X Panda. Um, I am from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'm 26 years old. I run uh, the 24-7 Panda X Gaming Stream. It is a fighting game community stream that's dedicated to Street Fighter 4. I also travel around to events and whatnot. Um, I, I broadcast events, live events throughout the South, Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, a lot of different locations. The fighting game community being so competitive, it, it is such an uh, exhilarating experience when I get to come here. I've already played some of my matches, and just being a part of it is amazing. Um, you know, you're playing the player, you know, you guys are in such a mental, like, strained battle against each other. And at the end of the match, you know, you shake each other's hands and you guys know that, you know, it was a good game and that you're there just for that, the fun. The importance of streaming in the fighting game community or any competitive game for that matter is very important. Um, of course, you know, what you see here, this is all, you know, it's all because we have a stream. The sponsors are involved because we have a stream. They want to be able to advertise to a large audience uh, rather than just a local, gathering. Um, it's a lot easier for sponsors to want to get involved. 
and it's a lot easier for uh, just gamers in general to get involved with the community. Um, if it was not for streams, there would be no exposure, there would be no money, there would be no prizes, sponsors, things like that. Because you have like ESPN, NFL, all these networks that do a really good job on producing these things and and in order to really outreach with that audience and, and let them know how serious it really is, you know, you have to kind of bring that visual experience to them. It's it's more than just a scream. It, it, it's sure there's a game on the on the on the monitor, but it, it's more than that. There's people behind it playing. There's they're using mental and physical abilities to go throughout with that match. My name is Daryl S. Lewis. My name is Ryan Ramirez, aka F Champ. I'm 26 years old. My, my gamer tag is Snake Eyes, and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm from Northern California, and I'm 27 years old. All right, so I've been in the competitive fighting game scene for about, uh, I would say, six years. I started off in a, well, kind of started off in 2009. I got serious around 2009. I won EVO in 2010 and then I switched to Street Fighter 4 in 2011. I've been playing competitive since 2010. Uh, I, I think uh, the very first tournament actually I've been through was back in 2007, but I wasn't really playing serious at that time. But um, I knew that I was somewhat good when my very first tournament I got second in NorCal Regionals. So I think the biggest thing about um, for the community or for the, uh, the gaming community in general to, to go mainstream is to just take it slow like and then improve on the production value of the of the event because I think it's like I look at it like MMA when MMA first came out nobody really took it seriously I was like what is this this is just like bloodbath you know like nobody really cares until it got sanctioned and they did it slow the, the production value was really high and slow and then they added more personality to just gaming and slowly people started loving the, the personality of the you know the, the athletes and and now it became somewhat mainstream, right? So I, I look at professional gaming like that also. Well, I feel like I was, a, I'm like the perfect uh, person to ask this question too, because I used to play basketball a lot. I used to play like multiple sports. And I feel like uh, the, the mental drain that it does to you is higher than uh, sports. It's actually more of a mental drain than sports. Um, competitive game, gaming, uh, players travel from across country to, to play in uh, international tournaments, locals, all kinds of things. They get, uh, they have fans, just like you know, sports players. There, there might not be any injury involved while playing uh, video games, but as far as uh, like competitive, um, as far as to compete against other players, I feel like it's the exact same thing. Yeah, Joe Love, Angelic, Cody versus Seth. Yeah. Okay, nice juggle. You don't always see that one. Joe Love takes the first oh, match. Oh. This will kill. So yeah. yeah. No big and wow, Angelic takes game two. I respect that. The wrong punish is really costing him so bad right now. Yeah, he's lost. And that was his game yeah. to win and yep. just thrown away. Yep. But Joe Love is now up there. I'm not too sure how how well uh, Integra knows this matchup, um, especially with Ken. Ooh, oh, that was really good. What? That was very that was nice. Good. That was nice. That's it. Good, good stuff. Good stuff Integra. Integra. And here we go. Chaotix with the uh, summer, you know, Malibu, Malibu Dudley. Chaotix has basically got uh, Chuvi on the ropes. Chuvi doesn't know what he want to do. Yeah, he's he's not too sure of a game plan right now. Kick, Falcon kick. Oh, oh interesting. Empty, empty jump. Uh, uh, walks into the crowd's yeah. fears. Right. Oh, wow. All right, and Chaotix comes back. Good nice. uppercut right Good there. Uppercut. Was All right, well, uh, I'm feeling kind of uh, winded right now. I uh, just won a match on stream against uh, Angelic from Arizona. Uh, I'm in winner's finals, so if I win this one, uh, my next one, I'm out uh, into top 16 starting Sunday. I just finished uh, playing German Luger, a really good Vega player. Um, beat him to make it out in winner's top 16. Uh, I think I've, I'm pretty confident for tomorrow. All right, so tomorrow, um, I'm not too sure who I play next. I made it out in winners, so I think there's eight people left in winners, but um, I think it's good that I'm taking a little break before going into it, at least the day before, so I can kind of, you know, prepare myself and get ready. Hey, guys, and we are back here at Absolute Battle in Dallas, Texas. So let's see what we got. All right. Uh, they get right into it. See, that's okay. Oh, see, look at that. I told you. You, you know Dudley's going to win. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, oh nice DP. Wake up DP reversal. Oh, goes to the overhead block. Ooh, nice big step kick. UK versus US. Look at that. Mm. There goes the stun. Oh, another one. Oh, DP. Oh, DP. Yes, sir. Um, pretty much what just happened, I lost to Integra in top 16, my roommate. Um, it was Kim versus Dudley. It's kind of a rough matchup, but I made some mistakes that kind of lost me the game. Um, had some execution errors and just some bad decisions. Well, we play, we, I, he's my roommate, so I play him quite often. Um, it sucks we have to play so early, but I made it into top eight, and uh, he's going to have to play another teammate more than likely in loser, so. <laughs> to the match. To the match. To the match. I'm like, a, of course, I'm, I'm like a Joe in this matchup. I mean, like, they have to play each other all the time. Now, these guys play all the time, so it's not character versus character, it's player versus player. Yes, keep going. Give him another one. I like this. Oh, oh not like this, God. yo. Pack it up. Pack it up. Pack it up. It's over it. Pack, Pack it up. Ooh. And Joe Tyson. Hey guys, uh, VGP Joe Love here. Just uh, finished my match, uh, top 16 match in losers against uh, TWG Arthur. Uh, I used to play with him a lot. Me and him go back and forth. He taught me actually how to play the game. So um, I took note of some bad habits of his and was able to capitalize, get some big damage. And now I'm sitting in top eight losers now. So hopefully I can make my way forward and beat everybody in my way. And we've got a match here. Two brothers from the same team. What we're going to see with this match is two players that play each other all the time so they know what each other are going to do. Yeah. Same thing for the art the match up. Right. It's going to be a slow paced game. You're not going to see each other mauling each other. They're just going to be playing very uh, cautious. Or he was yeah. walking in and out of that range so he can get that crush control, which is three frames. Uh, it's got some pretty decent things. I know he's got a red focus on both. Oh! We did that! Oh! <laughs> 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 Yeah, for sure. He was just like a spacing master, man. Yeah. This could be it for Andre. Yeah. Set up. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hit. Damn it. Right, it's over. Good, Good games to Andre, Good but he's going to go home. Good game. Hey guys, it's uh, VGP Joe Love. Um, just got done with another top eight losers match uh, against VGP Chaotix, my teammate. Uh, we played a lot in the past. Um, definitely been back and forth between both of us. Uh, I came out ahead today, um, got a couple uh, good breaks, good opportunities to get some damage. And uh, Yeah, I lost to Joe. Um, kind of exploited some of my bad habits. Uh, I haven't played that matchup in a while, so I kind of forgot what I'm supposed to do in certain situations when he does things, and he took advantage of that. But um, overall, I mean, I, I did all right. I made some mistakes, and he kind of punished me for them pretty hard. So. Um, I think I'll get him next time. Uh, Joe, B Sida, JP Joe Love. There it is. Like like the the That's a lot of damage, too, actually. Yeah. Nice throw, JP oh, Joe Love. Turning it up a little oh, bit. Big set up in. Almost like he has been going into yep, another one. Very close to Dizzy oh, right now. Okay, okay I'll play again. B Sida let that one medium punch clip go. said, no, put Eagle's Rocks on the ground. So we're last match, last round. I mean, we're in a pressure situation right here, right. so counter hit strong is what he's looking for. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. and he side a new. And in a situation like that where you're in chip death, you have here, to. Just got done uh, with another top eight losers match. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to clutch it out. Uh, played against Bisaida, a uh, really good Kim player. Plays a lot different than my teammate VGP um, Integra, so unfortunately, he was able to take it, made a couple mistakes, uh, he capitalized. So um, hopefully I can come back stronger next year, um, go to a couple more tournaments this year, and um, definitely raise up my skill level and uh, get to a better level so I can take one home. Cool. All right, yeah. next yeah. up, we have Integra and Ahmad. Uh Integra's kind of shown that he's not really ready for what Hamad's going to be pulling out. Kind of a little late. I think Hamad saw that. Right. He just got out of oh, it. Integra just walking forward in the record zone now. And that EX Fireball to beat the focus now. No more bar though, so can't do it anymore. Coming out of Ken's fist right now. Easy on the button. denying everything. Now That's a that. little impatience there Hamad from takes it over Tegi. He's not satisfied with that. And you can see all. the collective look of Dallas just hanging their head in shame. Um, I'm out of the tournament. I lost to uh, Hamad. Uh, he's from Houston. Um, he beat me pretty convincingly, so he showed I have a lot of things to work on. Um, so I'll be doing that for the next year, I guess. 
and I'll be back next year. How would I get the average person to give competitive gaming a chance? Um, I mean, these people, I tell them that these people work really hard. Uh, they put a lot of effort into doing well and competing at the highest level. And, you know, just watching that, getting to experience that, uh, getting to see the emotions of the players when they're actually playing the matches and stuff. I feel like that could help convince some people. They would be able to see, you know, just how much work they're putting into this just to be successful. Honestly, I mean, the biggest thing is just telling people to give it a chance. Most people don't give it a chance. And if you have the opportunity to actually, you know, sit down and learn these games and actually play a few and see what's going on, then you kind of have more of an understanding. I'm not saying for you to be the best of the best, but to actually understand how these games can get you involved. Street Fighter 4 is like a story, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, the, the way the round starts off, it just slowly progresses into the, into the end factor. Um, where I wasn't gifted to be very athletic, so video games was, was, was the only thing for me to be, um, to basically feed my competitive nature. And coaches, they, you know, they set plays um, to anticipate what uh, the opponent's defense is doing and vice versa. Um, and when you play Street Fighter, you're doing the same thing. You're reading defenses, you're, um, you're trying to open your opponent up and, you know, try to score, which is in Street Fighter be hitting the opponent and knocking them out. If I were to go to like my mom uh, or my, my grandparents just, or, or a family member or a really good friend, uh, just to talk to them about this, you know, I, I would just show them how much I really enjoy loving it. Um, as far as those people go, you know, they would be very interested in, in what I do. Um, I would love for them to tag along or just, just watch in general. I think, um, I think it's getting to a level to where anybody that's not even related to gaming could watch something like this and really enjoy it. Um, to anybody watching this documentary who may be interested, who may be, um, you know, wanting to get into the community, all I gotta say is, we are a good group. We play games, we have fun, we do whatever we can to, to get better, you know, and I, I feel like as a community, that helps a lot of us come together, you know, share information, and, and just have fun, like, and that's what it all is about. It's all about having fun. It's playing games. We play games, we have fun, we do whatever we can to help each other out, and that's that's the beauty of it. Okay. So this is the closing of Absolute Battle. Everyone's out. We're in the packing up phase. Another excellent event as I look at my, I guess, pedometer. It looks like I walked 32 miles from Thursday today. Today's Sunday. Um, I do this once a year. I run a bunch of tournaments a year, but I do this once a year. And I can honestly say it is the hardest I ever work in my life when I do this. But it is also the most rewarding. I get to meet a lot of really good people. Uh, my team is excellent. They've jumped up the production value of what we've done this year. And it's always good to get good feedback from the community. Community being the gamers themselves saying, this is a place to be. Texas is on the map. And this isn't just from the guys here. These are from people around the country giving us this. And it's not just me. It's just this group of team. And I want to just take this opportunity to thank everyone for coming out. And that's more than just gamers. That's my family from letting me be away for four or five nights a week. That's my brother coming down from DC. That's these guys, <clears throat> Panda and the rest of the group coming over and sacrificing their time from their families. And the gamers trusting us to run an event for them on a national scale. So it's always a pleasure and uh, hope to see you guys next year. Um, thank you.